Hey YouTube, back with more of my diorama. So I finally got a hold of some of the sculpt mold I was talking about in my last video. I'll put a link in the description in case you're interested. Now the reason I'm using this is to fill in all these gaps that you see between the plaster and the sides that I added in the last video. Also the plaster is pretty rough everywhere, so I was hoping it would help with that too. So the package itself described two different ratios depending on what you're using it for and I ended up going with a one-to-one -one ratio of water and sculpta mold. Now you'll see here that the texture is kind of interesting. It reminds me of that paper blown in insulation. You can use gloves or some type of stir but I found that just using my hands was the easiest. And once I had it mixed fairly well I started the long and messy process of spreading it all around and into all the corners. Once I had the sculpta mold relatively smooth, I took some water and tried to thin it out because it wasn't really as smooth as I wanted. In a bit you'll see that I made another batch of sculpta mold that was much thinner and I think that helped out a lot. Alright, so here's the final product. It's not completely smooth, and I did read a lot of people online talking about the same thing, that sculpt mold basically never becomes as smooth as you might think it might, but I think that's okay. First of all, this is a landscape, and in the real world it's not going to be perfect. And second, as I start painting it and adding terrain, I think it'll hide most of the little pits that I see now. Alright, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching and maybe learned a little bit too. If you want to follow me along, be sure to subscribe. See you next time.